Welcome to Behind the Bar by Grey Goose. When stocking your home bar, you have lots of choices. Today we're getting to know some of those supporting players that are unsung heroes in the cocktail world. Definitely. These are the essential mixers and ingredients needed for the most popular cocktails and the ones that offer the most versatility. Of course, you don't need everything to have a great home bar. You just need to customize what you actually like and drink. And the same goes for non-alcoholic mixers and ingredients. So I'm gonna start by making grenadine. Okay. The simplest way to make grenadine is equal parts pomegranate juice to sugar. If you wanted to spice it up, you can definitely add some baking spices like clove or allspice or cinnamon or cardamom, but really the most standard grenadine is gonna be just the pomegranate juice with sugar. Okay. We've got our saucepan. We've got 210 degrees on there because we want it to come to close to a boil so we can dissolve the sugar within the pomegranate juice. And then we're slowly gonna add our sugar. We're using some really nice cane sugar, so just super clean, nothing processed. But as you can see, it's pretty much fully dissolving right now. Yep. So we're just gonna get that really nice viscosity from dissolving that sugar in the pomegranate, and we're gonna be left with a super rich pomegranate-y simple syrup. So I'm just gonna use a small mixing glass today, but you know, whatever vessels you have at home, uh, will work perfectly for chilling this grenadine in the fridge. Simple syrup is super easy and approachable to make. If you can boil water, you can make simple syrup. Simple syrup can be used in a multitude of vodka cocktails, gimlets. All cocktails. Um, you can splash uh, simple in your Moscow mule. Old fashions, like one yes. of the oldest type of drinks. It's definitely one of the building blocks of cocktails. So 100%. always recommend having it on hand at home. Yes. And look, we're getting a nice boil on, so I think we're about Yeah, ready. you're getting a really good boil on that. So now we're just gonna transfer this into a saucepan, let it cool for about 10 minutes, and then we'll actually be ready to use this to make some cocktails. I've kind of got what I call like the morning special over here. With espresso, I love freshly brewed espresso for things like a black Russian, a mm. white Russian, um, an espresso martini cocktail. If you wanna spike your coffee, and mm -hmm. add a little bit of like aged rum to it or maybe some whiskey. That's a nice morning cocktail for brunch time. And then we've got milk. So I actually prefer non-dairy milk, which I think is amazing, like coconut milk or almond milk in a white Russian. But you know, obviously some people prefer regular dairy milk, which is totally fine as well. And then for my mixers, I'm gonna have some juices and some bitters. So I think Maybe from brunch and a dinner service, these are the mixers that you would have for your cocktails. So starting with our bitters, I know a lot of people ask what are bitters, as our friend Iris says, they're the seasoning rack of the cocktail world. And bitters, you're using such a small amount, they're usually actually measured in dashes. Yeah, so two to three dashes, for instance, your Grey Goose Old Fashioned cocktail. Two to three dashes, it opens it right up, and it's a very beautiful cocktail. Definitely. Next, we have grapefruit juice. Now, my palate, I gravitate towards those more tartar, juicy um, cocktails. We all know the Greyhound. And then last we have is our cranberry juice for the ever so popular Grey Goose Vodka Cranberry Cocktail. Again, I like uh, mixers that are a little bit more on the tartar side, a little bit more stringent, so I'm always gonna call for a little bit of cranberry juice. Or Cosmo. Juice. Um, and then last but not least, club soda. Um, you can do club soda, tonic. What club soda is, is carbonated water hit with a little bit of minerals and salt. So there's really fun ways to incorporate all types of cocktail mixers into your home bar, but we wanna hear from you guys. So comment below on your favorite mixers to stock at home. And for more great recipes, just click below.